So today we're talking about ways how you can become more attractive to men if you're a woman. And as always, I'm going to take the holistic approach, so I'm going to give you tips that uh, apply on a on the, on the physical plane, on the mindset level and on the energetic level. So let's start with the basics. As I said in one of my previous videos, um, the, the basis for the attraction between men and women is the polarization of the male and the female energies. So the more you, you tend towards the female energy as a woman, the more attractive you are to men. But um, it is a sort of a magnetism. So what is a magnet? The magnet is stronger when it is, um, when it is on one side of the polarization and when it is stronger by itself. That means if the magnet is bigger. Uh, so to make your energy bigger, this applies both to men and women, you need to eliminate the number one cause of depletion of energy, which is stress. And you cause stress in many ways to your body. So to eliminate stress, uh, get enough sleep, eat well, exercise, take care of yourself, uh, and don't do things that you don't want to do. These, this is very generic, but it's fundamental. And I'm only giving you um, deep and sweet tidbits here in this video. So now let's focus on the female energy because you can do a lot to increase the female energy. Let's stop, start with um, uh, with tip number one of how to increase your female energy. You know how throughout history men liked actresses, singers, uh, painters, uh, other women that did creative work. And this is because the creativity enhances the female energy. So the advice that I can give you there is to engage in hobbies and activities that make you more creative. Uh, this includes uh, dances, so belly dancing and anything that has to do with your with your hands, so the movements, the, um, uh, <laughs> a word in Spanish comes to my mind, although uh, I'm not a native Spanish speaker, but to move your hands suave, um, this increases a lot of your female energy. So if you think about the uh, thigh dances or belly dancing or any other dancing that is, um, that is considered artistic, it has to do a lot with the movement of your hands, the expression of your hands and with your look. So you, you always, they always look around, play with their gaze and play with their hands. And so, you know, take time to go to the manicurist as well. So explore your hobbies that are creative. Take singing classes, uh, start painting, even if you think you can't paint, start singing. Anything that expresses this creative energy which is inherently feminine. Even if nobody sees you doing that, you would be doing work um, on your energetic level which would be um, reflected immediately in your attraction ability to the outside. So I'm also going to briefly touch on the appearance uh, part of attraction. You shouldn't hold yourself to any standard of beauty because all women are beautiful and I do believe that. It's just a matter of maintenance and some um, skills that you need to learn in order to dress well, uh, put some makeup. These are minor things but they do make a big difference. So what you need to know but like really on the surface is that your biggest decoration is your hair. So because it, in, um, because it surrounds your whole face, it's the thing that men see first. So make sure that your hair is uh, at least acceptably maintained. Um, next is what you wear. So um, in order not to distract too much from your face, I would recommend you to wear, uh, first of all, either to be completely uh, dressed in one color, block colors, all the way through, no dots, no balloons, no animations and <laughs> cartoons on your, on your t-shirts, uh, so as not to distract from your face, but also uh, try to wear dresses. Mm, there is something inherently attractive about a woman wearing a dress. It just, um, it's so subconscious, it's so deeply ingrained in us that women wearing dresses are more feminist, so why not use that? What also makes you very attractive is sex. 
Yes, now you're thinking, okay, but I'm looking for a partner. What kind of sex are you talking about? Well, to be attractive to somebody, you have to exude the feeling or the energy that you already have it. It's like with any sort of manifestation. So that, that means you have to exude the energy that you already have a partner. What does that mean? Well, if you don't have a partner, you don't go randomly dispersing your energy by having sex with random people. No, this is what you don't do. This is how you disperse your energy as a woman. You cultivate your energy when you either have sex with the man you love or when you make love to yourself. It is what makes you open your energy, it is what makes you blossom, it is what uh, raises those hormones and brings this um, scent, but not in the, in the real sense of scent, but the energetic attraction. The, I don't even know what these particles are called, but I know for sure that there are some articles that you exude out there and men know that you're a satisfied woman. Men are not looking for women that are desperate and um, women that necessarily want them and need them. Men are looking for women that are already satisfied. A trick that you can do really quickly to raise up your feminine energy is to do Kegel exercises. If you don't know what it is, um, go look it up, but I'll explain it briefly. If you do yoga, it is to contract your Mula Bandha or the, your perineum. So you make these exercises when you squeeze the muscle of your flower and uh, this is what pumps up the feminine energy. This is what you can do really quickly if there's somebody around whom you want to attract uh, and this is how you open your flower even if you haven't reached an orgasm. So for quick results, Mula Banda. Another thing in support of the masturbation and sex uh, tool that I'm presenting here is that um, uh, whenever you're in your monthly cycle, you're actually closed for sex. And this is when uh, men find you more attractive. I don't know if you've noticed this, but I remember back in the days when I used to go out a lot in the evenings and, uh, and I would go to a club completely exhausted because I would have had my monthly cycle and then I think that nobody would ever like me because I look absolutely miserable, you know, <laughs> uh, hair that is hanging, you know, everything is showing exhaustion. And yet, this is when men come the most, when you're least prepared because they're not looking for anybody who is looking. Now let's continue on the same thread of why uh, you shouldn't be looking or exude the energy that you're looking for somebody because men feel this. It's like you're send, sending your tentacles and he feels that you want to grab him and he's running away like crazy. He wants to run away as far as possible from you. So really hold your horses, pull your energy back. You shouldn't be looking for a man or searching for a man, even if you are. So. When it comes to the point that someone asks for your number or wants to go out with you, the first thing you need to do is say no. And there's a very special rule uh, that is deeply ingrained in the, in the workings of energy between men and women. I've learned this from Kambala, but I'm going to expand it um, in another video. But briefly, what it means is that you need to put a filter on this penetrating male energy. You need to stop it and this is when it wants to go even deeper. This is when it wants you even more. So if somebody approaches you, asks for your number, don't give it to him. Just say, well, I'm sorry I'm busy right now. I can't give you my number. Maybe contact me on Facebook or whatever. Uh, don't be openly ready to grab him. This actually um, drives men away. You, you would probably be afraid that he wouldn't come back to you but, you, but rest assured he will. I've experienced this so many times. When you say no, I'm busy, you're not my number one priority, this is when he wants to come and catch you. So dear ladies, let me quickly wrap up the tips that I just gave you to become more attractive to men. Number one is to completely eliminate stress because this is what depletes power in men and in women. Number two, to increase your feminine power and this has many components. Uh, firstly, invest in your creative hobbies. Start singing, dancing, expressing your creativity because this makes you really, really attractive to men. Uh, then, of course, you should 
invest some effort in your looks, uh, research what is attractive to men according to NLP, what colors you should wear. Just as a brief um, reminder, colors that are pastel and fluffy and make men want to hug you are really attractive. Uh, next is your um, sexual uh, experiences or the love of you have for yourself, make love to yourself and this is how you exude that you're a satisfied woman and that you're not looking for anything. And the next point was uh, really show this um, self security uh, and say no, I can find better than you or I'm not looking for you right now um, so that the man has the even even further stimulus to go and chase you. I hope you liked it. If you did, please share and subscribe. And I'll come with more tips for you next week.